In this video, we're going to focus on how we can remove our X scale line here nicely while keeping, of course, the grid lines and everything else in place. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's start to look how to move the X scale line in Chart.js. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to go to Chart.js3.com, getting started this specific link here, because we're going to grab the border template. And this link you can find as well in the description box. So once you're on here, scroll down and just copy this chunk of code. Copy all of this. If you want to understand this code, make sure you watch this video here. Then paste this in there, cut this out, and then we're going to put that all in here. Save, and then refresh. There we are. So now we have this. So let's maximize this a bit. Let's say I think 80% here, save, refresh. So now what I want to do is the following. I want to start working on removing the scale line here. The scale line is a bit tricky because it consists of two parts. So let's break it down and let's do the first one. First of all, I want to go into the X scale and in the X scale, say comma, and we're going to remove this border line here. So what we're going to say here in the grid, because it's part of the grid, we're going to say here, draw border equal false. By doing this, we remove the first line. And if you see now very carefully, and if I do this back here again, pay attention here, you will see it will get darker now because there's double line on it. So if I set this on false, that double line is now removed, or at least there's one single line left. This single line is basically a grid line directly connected to the Y scale. Basically these Y scale here have all these grid lines and those lines are connected. And we're going to remove that one now. So what I'm going to do here is on the Y scale, I'm going to say grid and I'm going to use just a very fancy trick because I don't want to remove all of the grid lines. I only want to remove the bottom line. So what we're going to do here in the grid, we're going to just say a color. Then we're going to say your context function error expression because we're going to create a callback functionality within the color and I'm going to assign a color if we have here index number zero which is the bottom line in that case make it transparent or white or any color that is matching with your design and else we just use the default color so what we're going to do here is we're going to say here um, let's do a console log first so you can see exactly what I'm talking about context save ignore that refresh open up the developer tab you can see here now it's already removing all the grid lines because we don't return anything so don't worry about that because we don't return anything that's why it doesn't show a color but you can see here we get every object here which is basically all the array and what we get is the information of the tick and you can see here which value and as well the index number that's this one here if we go to the very first one which is the bottom index number that's zero in this case that one has an index of zero as well, and the tick value is zero, which is correct because that zero value and index is the it's the first one of the array of the lines, so that's index zero as well. So what I'm going to do now, just create a simple if statement. I'm going to say a context dot index if zero equals strict zero. So if it's strict zero, I want to return no color. Else, what I want to do is I want to return a default color, and the default color in Chart.js is RGBA and then uh, parentheses, and then we say 102, 102, 102, comma 0 0.2 for the alpha value, so it's transparency of that. Semicolon here, save, refresh. So as you can see here now, it works nicely. What we even could do here, maybe if you want to fine tune this a little bit more with these borders at the bottom to be covered, we can say here, comma, border, skip, equals false. Save, refresh, and now we have those borders here being shown on the bar, but of course we don't have any uh, lines on the grid here. And that's basically how you can remove them. So if you enjoyed this video, maybe you want to even push these labels a bit more down to the bottom so you have some extra padding or margin. In that case, I'm going to recommend you this video here on how to add padding and margin to the X scale labels in Chart.js.